Why are you guys coming to my door like the FBI? What's going on here? Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another vlog. Hope you're well. As you can tell, I'm just going through my Sunday reset routine. I still have to go through all of my spending, pay my bills, make sure that everything monetarily is in order, write out in my agenda what my plans for the week are as well as my goals. And I'm good to go. I have two videos to edit. When I started editing last night, I was about to put this back in the cap and I'm like, I'm missing something. The other eye. <laughs> so there's a lot. This week is going to be very productive. Productivity is not to be mistaken and mixed up with busy. Busy could just be finding busy work to do, but not moving towards something. Whereas for me, at least when it comes to productivity, it's about having the intentionality to go forward. I think I'm gonna actually pod tonight. I usually say this on Monday night, but I'm in the mood. I'm in a mood. <laughs> this gloomy weather has me in a mood. Not only that, it's always good to be ahead. In the last couple weeks, I feel like I've been falling behind with content creation, so why not set myself up for success? So I'll probably finish editing the video I was editing last night, and then I will start editing the vlog so that I can be up by tomorrow. And then I'll do the pops. And before you know it, Sunday will come and go. I'm so happy this weekend was a long weekend. I'm so grateful you don't even know. I wish we had a long weekend every weekend. <laughs> and it's weird that I do makeup not by sight, but by feel, by weight, by rhythm, by memory. This weird nub has been here for a couple days. And it won't go away. I don't know where it came from. I don't know what caused it. I just want it to go away. I was about to put lip gloss on, but I'm like, I'm in my house, what's the point of that? <laughs> I can't open it. This is just the beginning and I'm already over it. It's so cold. Also wearing these glasses while outside is very trippy. The prisms in them make me feel like I'm not stepping properly. Oh my gosh. Why do I live in this country? This series finale of Atlanta, you know why I got this because I don't usually do takeout like that. Like, I might get takeout once every two or three months. This is the second time this week. The sushi wasn't doing it for me. Well, actually, no, this is Sunday, so it's the first time this week. I need to have this with a tall glass of water. The video I'm editing is actually the series finale. I've never gotten the onions before, they're feeling hella squishy, so maybe never again. They're not bad, they're not great. But this biscuit though, hmm, I thought I was playing when I told you when I filmed the video yesterday that I was gonna get this. So good. I'm gonna enjoy this, cause right after this I have to get back at it.
brother. We just up the score, give me that brother. Scared me, I'm on rap, brother. We had it there, no, are you scared, brother? Disaster. Such a mess. Good morning, guys. Hope you're all well. It's Monday. Let's see how this smoothie is tasting. I hate kale. I don't know why I keep forcing myself to make these kale smoothies. Sometimes if the mango is mangoing, can't really taste it, but I don't think I put enough pieces today. That sounded dangerous. Let's have a little matcha. Ooh, and I'm burning myself. What's going on with me today? Me too, so a little multitasking. Bing! And have the rest of my Popeyes. I didn't realize until after I ate that big piece yesterday, I was like, wait, there's two more. I only ordered a two piece. I think she put that in because I was waiting long. She was so sweet. She apologized three times. I'm like, it's all good. I was working on some stuff on my phone anyway. Oh no, did I get chicken oil on my, mm, today's not my day. I love Popeyes, but it doesn't love me back. I can't lie. So once I finish this, this is probably it for the rest of the year. The takeout, nine times out of 10, I can make most things that are at a takeout restaurant. Usually I'm really good at staying clean. It's midnight, no, I'm just kidding. It's after five, it's like two after five and I have a horrible habit of not logging off. Right at five? This tea, I don't even know why I made it. It's basically ice now. It's so cold. Switch gears, move over here, edit the pods. Thank God I filmed or recorded one last night. I'm gonna record the other one real quick, edit them both, get them up, edit my vlog a little bit, post my reel that I made yesterday. I just gotta put music on top. Ooh, your girl has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> off hello it's midnight no it's not it's 5 41 one sec one sweet second oh my god my lips are so dry remind me to fill my water bottle before we for the class and also switch because i don't know this outfit ain't hitting excuse me when i got this for me they didn't put in a box like this i see you sephora i guess they knew it was a gift although i didn't check the box but this is a thank you gift when David came a couple weeks ago for that secret celebration, so if you go back to the vlog, I think it literally has secret celebration in the title. He smelt this perfume, which I got a year ago, Mirren Tonker, and he's like, don't wear it. I want to get it, but you can't wear it. Like, no, that's not how it works. But I figured, you know what? He's been a good friend. If I see him this weekend, I'm gonna give it to like, well, let me put the ribbon back on it, but you know what I'm saying. I ain't got time for that. I need to drink a lot of water because a girl's thirsty. Samples, I'll look at those later. I don't really, the fact that I put this box, this dutty box on my clean comforter shows you where my head is at. It makes more sense to pack this set. This one pills whenever I wear something over it. It's more of a summertime vibe. I love Aritzia, but the quality isn't it when it comes to their athleisure. Whereas aloe, Aloe, for the most part, is worth every pretty penny because I can do something like this and not have to worry about it pilling. This one was so pretty. It still is, and you probably can't see the pilling. I can't even see it, but I feel it. It bothers me. Sure, I'm actually in the shot. Fajita. I know it's called fajita, but either way, it's to the rescue today because this is a quick meal. Leave as soon as I'm done eating this. Gotta go, gotta go. Don't want to be late. New York City shuttle buses are operating. They're located upstairs in front of the building. I even bother that was such a waste of time how is this week starting off toronto is trash i hate the ttc how is this a world-class city i don't get it did you see all those people out there i couldn't even pan because there were so many people in front of me but the line went three blocks and every time a shuttle bus came two people got off and 20 tried to squeeze on i'm like there's no way plus the rush hour traffic because the train would have taken 15 minutes max and I would have been there 20 minutes early but the shuttle bus if I was lucky and got on the first one of the three before I just said you know I'm giving up I would have been 15 minutes late and I think the cutoff is 10 minutes so I should technically be in class right now I signed up for Thursday's class so we'll see if I can make that this is what I get last week I canceled because I was an hour early and I was too tired to wait around this week even though I left early and gave myself enough time 
life's unpredictable, especially when people just decide to delete themselves because that's what that was. Whenever they say, oh, trouble on track level, someone jumps. And I always wondered, okay, you know, we all have hard, hard days and I'm not going to say that someone shouldn't make their decision. After all, the podcast I'm listening to is about dread. So if ever there's an emotion to express and explain why someone would resort to that, dread would be that. But why in a way that disrupts thousands of people? Now this sounds selfish, but I'm not even talking about me because my class, although the app was also down, so by the time I canceled, I got a late cancel, so I paid for that. Uh, but besides that, that's my new. But when you think about it, like we've all had our breaking point. Am I wrong? But I think it's a different type of, I don't even want to use the word because people are going to come for me. But if you decide to make that decision, that decision should affect you solely. And the reason why I think people should think twice or 2,000 times before they do that, no matter if it's a TTC or in the privacy of their home, is someone out there cares about you. You may not know. You may not know who you impact and whose life you changed. You don't know. And that's the crazy thing about life. So there's always, in my mind, a reason to leave. But I've never had that level of disparity where I'm like, I'm out. I don't even care. Thousands of people are now going to have a displaced night. I'm out. So two sides to everything. This is the last you're going to see of me tonight because I think this is a sign that I should just focus on editing the vlog, getting it up. Let me know what you think about this topic because I know it's very touchy. I know some people are pro-choice and that means for everything. I know some people are anti, like no matter what you're going through, that's not a way out. I fall in between. If you want to, I can't tell you because I don't know what traumas and triggers you've gone through. Just know someone out there, you may not even know who this person is, needs you or is inspired or impacted by you. Every life impacts somebody else's life. Anyway, that's my PBS moment of the night. Let me repack my work bag. I feel like the last two hours of my life were for naught. Oh wow, I've been uploading since midnight last night and it's only at 60%. Meanwhile, also I have to go in this. Lovely. <laughs> There's no point in complaining because the next couple months is going to look a lot like this. I can't even tell you how many times I've been lost today. I just realized the leaves didn't have a chance to fully fall before the snow came. Don't remember seeing that ever in my whole life. That's how you know the weather's really warped. These are the days disasters are made of. Spilled coffee all over the side of my coat. It wasn't even good coffee. The reason why it spilled, bad coffee, hurt my tummy, was gonna throw it out, spilled on me in the process. Went to two offices, there was a meeting at one. I just missed them. Four minutes. Such is life. Slipping and sliding, probably shouldn't wear these boots. My stockings are soaked. I got lost, three different buildings, locked out of the right building's elevator. Do you want me to keep going? I'm just gonna leave it where it is because this is not the energy. This is not the vibe. I'm gonna change into sweats and just do what I gotta do. Everything I tried to do was to avoid exactly what happened. If you can see me or if my head's cut off, Seems like my head's cut off. Ta-da! Why did that scare me? I'm not okay. I've been very jittery. Okay, this is finished and this, I need to find you one. Remind me tomorrow. Which, surprise, surprise, I've been soaking it in lemon juice. You know me, first step. You gotta wash your fish, wash your meat. I think you're also supposed to take the skin off, but I never do that. Ew, the sound of it ripping is so gross though. I'll put it Back to back, or skin to skin. That's gross. Ew, skin to skin. With the way today's been going, I earned this meal. So I stopped off on at Farm Boy on my way home and I grabbed this little fish. It's so expensive now. Not to say it wasn't before. A little garlic, a lot of ginger. A lot, probably more than I should. Feeling the food instead of measuring out everything like I used to. So I used to do three teaspoons of maple. Now we're just gonna free pour. Now the problem with free pouring is I can't see. Just put that in there. Just a little pepper. I feel like I should add paprika, but 
Paprika is usually for meat, right? For chicken and beef. Good, but I'm gonna leave it for an hour. Guys, gym workout this morning was great. I'm showered and ready for the day. I tell you, the best way to start a day is working out. I prefer morning versus night workouts. How about you? <clears throat> Battery died. What was I saying? Oh, I like to put my stuff away in the morning. So I always do dishes right after or during dinner while prepping. Just loud. I might edit it out. Well, not first thing because it's always the gym shower. Ooh, that was tricky. Let's put this. People like leaving dishes to the morning, but no, because I live in a bachelor and I'm clean freak. I can't leave stuff overnight. The most I'll do is a glass of water. And usually, I'll wake up in the middle of the night and drink it anyway. Make breakfast, make a smoothie because I haven't had one in a couple of days. I gotta finish off this avocado. I'm also gonna make a green juice. So I'll show you guys how I do that since I haven't done it in a minute. And my ju green juice recipe is tried and true, but it's nasty. I can't lie to you. Here's the perfect cheat code for a quick breakfast. You used to call me on my cell phone. change my top as much as I love it I don't wear it enough especially for how much I will charge for it I was too cold summer is long gone I need to really figure out the situation I do that every year the heat is on like the lowest possible level I find every company is stingy as hell sometimes I like to stand when I work they have standing desks at work but I feel like that's doing the most so when I work from home especially since I have to go like this anyways oh my gosh I feel like Quasimodo Figure half the day I might as well stand. This is my third attempt twice this week to try to make it to full class later tonight. So let's see. Whenever I'm in a class, I feel really self-conscious because I can't see the hand positions, as you could see. But I feel good when I do it. It just reminds me that I have to keep trying, keep doing, even though the little situation we have going on. All that's left to do is get some groceries and go home, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Why is my hair going so far out? The FedEx guy came early and woke me up. I didn't even know they did deliveries that early. I spent a good 40 minutes in bed trying to convince myself to not go to the gym. After he knocked on the door like the police, I got up and I went to the gym. I'm happy. I swear, I fight every time I have to go to the gym. I hate it there. But once I'm there, I'm glad that I went. And once I'm done, I feel like I accomplished something. That's like making your bed in the morning. When you do that, you feel like you just got your day started. So I'm going to make a green juice real quick. Although I don't really want a green juice for breakfast. Ooh, avocado's almost ready, but I might want guac instead. I don't know what I'm doing with my whole life. Maybe I'll make a kale spinach smoothie. I don't have spinach, what am I saying? Let me just put this stuff away, because that's another way that I start my day. I'm just, I'm not, even gonna, I'm not gonna call it out. I'm just gonna let it be what it be. Sometimes when you feel these types of emotions, you just have to honor it by calling it out and letting it run its course. The way I feel, I think I'm gonna change my outfit. I used to love this one piece. It never really fit me, it's way too tight, but I'm also freezing inside and I don't wanna turn on the space heater. My fern is dying from the dry air and so is my skin. My lip is cracking over here, my hair is breaking. That's the thing about having a space heater. You're not meant to have them on all night and all day. I wish they would just turn on the radiator. Why are they so cheap? I pay so much rent for this bachelor. Like if I told you guys, especially my American followers, you guys would be like, what, you're paying that much for this? 
Let's just put it this way. If I lived in the States, I would have a two floor house. Not two bedroom, two floor house. That's crazy. Cause this is not even downtown. This is a good location. I guess you can consider it a prime location. Thanks Bridge. So much construction though. So mm. it has its ups and downs. I like it cause it's a safe, clean neighborhood and everyone's super friendly. I want more space. I'm gonna stay here for a year or two to get my savings up. And it's stuck, cause that's the most important thing to me. As much as I want an aesthetic place, trust me, I'd love to have a bedroom where I can close the door at night and I don't hear the elevator cause my hearing is that good. Even though I'm down the hall, I can still hear the elevator. I can hear the dogs barking. <sighs> I'm just counting my blessings, you know? I'm better off than I was before. If you knew where I started, I should do a story time one time, maybe on Patreon. Let me make two smoothies. I'll do one, rinse, come back, do this one a little later. Blah, blah, blah. You. thing when making a green juice the only thing that was cold was the orange juice and because I was pushing it down it's warm at least it tastes better than last time because I skipped the kale and I added honey but I have a haircut due in January and I know she's gonna get scissor happy a free pour which is never a good idea when you can't see this one should be big enough for the second second pour okay you know what I might just still strain it. Although there's no chunks. This is the first time since I've used this blender that there hasn't been chunks in there. Maybe because I really pushed things down and I didn't use ice. Real quick. Aritzia answered my prayers. I've been looking for a good coat for years. This girl was wearing the most beautiful coat I've ever seen. I asked her where she got it from. Le Chateau, it doesn't exist anymore. The problem with me and wool coats is they need to be the perfect fit. I did a try on with you guys a couple weeks ago for TikTok. None of the coats were it. They weren't even thick enough either, but they all were too loose. I mean, the price is right because it was Zara, but the quality, as much as I love Zara and you guys know I worked there for years, I can't lie, it's not good quality. Some things, like that dress I got, what, two weeks ago, pilled the first day I wore it. So I'm like, um, if I'm going to buy something that's a staple that I've wanted for more than 15 years, I might as well get it from somewhere where I can trust the quality. And although Orissi is expensive, she worth it. Literally, I got this as a dress coat to wear with dresses whenever I go out because the coat I have right now is longer than this. It's made for the Arctic. I wish I was exaggerating, but it actually is because I don't play with the cold. It fits perfectly because I'm not here for that oversized look. I can't even stress how obsessed I am with this coat. Color looks good folded down. Probably not, right? It's a cocoon style. This is the creamiest cream ever. It's perfect. for wool coat but this is definitely not warm enough for me I can't even lie this is literally a dress coat a coat to specifically wear with dresses the days that I want the coat to match the fit more often than not I'm pulling out that big sleeping bag coat because your girl doesn't play when it comes to the cold I could wear these with pants I probably wouldn't wear them with denim though I love how beautiful the interior is and I wouldn't want to ruin it hey so if I want to put lip gloss in here so you know lips get trapped real quick in this cold Toronto weather I Love it. What's crazy to me is Aritzia seems to be on Amazon Prime time. I ordered that yesterday. It came this morning. There was two people at the doors. I said, why are you guys coming to my door like the FBI? What's going on here? I think someone was training. 
That's the only way I can explain it. If you saw last week's vlog, you already know Sage had a sale and it's the biggest sale they have of the year. So I got Unwind. Anyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed with Unwind. I have bought four or five of the essential oils ever since I discovered Sage. Then there's this, which is a gift. It's not a Christmas gift because if you watched last week's vlog, I keep referring to last week's vlog. I mentioned to you guys, no Christmas gifts this year. Just my mom and my brother. But this, ooh, I hope they like it. Another diffuser, similar to the one I have over here, but this one is a glow, so you just tap on it. I have five minutes left of my break and I got a lot back on. Two things are, whoo, peppermint twist, essential oil, and roll-on. I love the immune roll-on. Anytime I get the littlest sniffle, like a crack addict, I swear, sniff, 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 sniff and all of my sinuses are cleared. Peppermint twist is really good. I wanna know is how is this month almost done? Oh my gosh. Good morning. The gym session was good. I also went to get some coffee beans. Let me go over there and I'll show you. Biotin gone. There's a specialty store called Bean Wise up the street. I re-upped since I'm almost down. I thought they ran out of Sicilian pistachio, or is it called? I don't even know. Where's my phone? Oh, it is. I can't see it, but I see that there's two words, so it's not just pistachio. So I got another. Okay, I do need my phone. The ED eggnog. It got rubbed off. Hello, am I seeing that wrong? It's supposed to say spice though. It's in alphabetical order in this store. I was looking for P, but it's by S. Duh. So good thing my friend found this spiced eggnog and the pistachio beside it. Otherwise I would have gone there two times and missed it. And that one is my favorite one so far. So being wise, if you're watching this, you're probably not. Never stop restocking this. I'm obsessed with eggnog. I prefer it hot versus cold and a little spiked if you know. I used to love it cold when I was a kid, but when it's hot, it's not as sweet. Kind of like Starbucks, Frappuccinos are too much for me. Even my favorite drink from Starbucks, the Caramel Brulee, they need to make that a permanent. I know it's a holiday thing, and I always get it on my birthday as my free drink, but it should be permanent, because some of the other drinks they offer throughout the year ain't it. I can go through a list of 10 drinks at Starbucks, spent six, seven dollars, waste of money. I want to know, do you get jitters from coffee too? If I have, if I have too much or have too late, it'll keep me up. Anytime I say maca pot, people are, wait, come again? That's what it's called. It's called a maca pot. It's so weird. I prefer the smell of coffee over the taste. I feel like I'm making worse and worse eye contact with these cameras lately. Even when I was editing the video last night and I have to refilm one today, I was like, Whoa, the left eye is all the way over here giving chameleon. I'm the worst when it comes to ordering things off of Amazon. I do it backwards, I order, and then I read the reviews. So today, I caught myself reading the reviews of the blender I ordered how many weeks ago? Maybe if I read, <laughs> maybe if I'd gone through the reviews, I would have known, just know. They're basically saying it's a Vitamix, but it doesn't act like one. So I might send it back and get a Nutribullet, which is something I got I think I got my brother that brand. I don't remember. It's a little later on in the day. I've already filmed my video. I need to edit it and start editing my vlog, but I wanted to take a little walk break because I've been craving. I thought, should I save this avocado for my smoothie? Nope, I'm gonna have to use it. Then I went to the store to buy some more. But the way those costs were looking, I said, I'm going to leave them in the store. Not this week. I did a couple of other errands too, but honestly, guys, I didn't want to set up my camera outside. It's so cold, I just wanted to go and come back. So I'll show you my night routine to kind of do a little outro montage. But I'm going to snap on this. It's going to get real crunchy real soon. I want to watch a movie tonight. Do you guys have any recommendations? And I still want to see... Wakanda forever. I've been hearing so many mixed reviews. Have you seen it yet? Do you like it? No spoilers below, please. The key to good guac is to overload it with cilantro, I'm telling you.
course my hair got poofy every time I take a hot bath because I take a hot, hot bath. My hair frizzes. Oh, this is not as bad as it usually goes. It usually reverts in the front. Nothing a quick flat iron in the morning can't fix. <laughs> But I'm just gonna do a little skincare and that's where we're gonna end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed spending another week with me. If you did, you know what to do. Tap that like, subscribe for more. And until next week, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love you later. Yes, I put it on my scar over here too. Mm -hmm.